for the Fontan, Jaden had his a year ago, and he was there for only two weeks, which is okay. pretty average for the Fontan. Mm -hmm. A lot of kids don't walk, they, they don't want to do anything until they get their chest tubes pulled. And for Jaden, what kept him in the hospital was he kept draining out of his chest tubes, and so he had these two little, we call them balloons, the nurses call them grenades, mm -hmm. um, little balloons hanging from his chest tubes that filled with fluid. And he, I mean, we walked all around the hospital with those things. And, you know, for them, getting up and moving is what helps clear the fluid. And mm -hmm. um, like he, he's such a tough little kid, you know. He's just, he's, he amazes me every day. After the third surgery, when he was recovering, they're trying to get him out of the hospital bed to walk around for the first time. You know, they put him on the, the ground and, and he just was crying and, you know, said he, he couldn't do it. And I kind of knelt down and gave him a hug. And I, you know, I said, I know this is hard. I know this is scary, but you know, I'm right here and I'm always gonna be there for you. And he walked a couple steps and then, um, and I kept cheering him on. And then he walked to, they have this treasure chest of toys that if you, you walk to it, you can open it up and get a prize. And I, through that first try, you got to the toy box and was able to get a toy. and. That was that that was like a really that was a moment for me where I was like I really helped him and I really was able to be there for him and um, and encourage him to take those those steps I mean those painful steps. Mm -hmm.